Hello again. Today we're going to talk about network folders. Once you log in on your admin UI on your left menu, you will see this network folders option. You will land on the manage network folders window. If we want to add a new network share, we can click on the plus button. We can decide if it's going to be a local area network, an S3 compatible bucket, or an Azure Blob storage container. For our example, we're going to use a local area network. We're going to put a name to it. Let's call it the finance users files. The next is we're going to decide if this is going to be a normal mount or a smart mount. Normal mount means that we're going to use, a, we're going to add the network share as is, right? It's going to show up all the content on the, on the folder. And the other option is a smart mount. The smart mount means in case you have an, a network share structure where you have a folder, for example, for the users, and on that network share, you have one folder per user and you define the name of the user as the name of their folder, you can decide that you want to do a smart mount. So the user is only going to see the folder that matches their username and it's going to go directly into it. So in this case, we're going to add a normal mount. We can click on normal mount, click on next. It's going to ask us for the path. It could be a network address or it can be a path from the server where the file cloud server is running. In this case, we're going to copy the path from a D drive. As you can see, it's a D drive from this computer network folder finance. If I click next, the next option is going to be is if I want to use assign permissions, that means it's going to use permissions from file cloud to read, write, or if I'm going to inherit NTFS permissions from the network share. In case you're using Active Directory and you have NTFS permissions structure, you can use this. We can use, in our example, use assign permissions, create a share. And after creating the share, we are prompted if we want to add users to be able to access this network share in, or if we want to add a group. We want, if we want to add a user, we can add this one. As you can see, it's only going to be listing full and guest user accounts. And if I, I want to you add a group, let's say I want to add the finance group. And as you can see, it's using assign permission. So I can either give them read and write or only read access. If I hit close and finish, I have just added a new network share.